It's Overwatch time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the Figma number 413. It's Zenyatta Sculptor Poly Toys. Alright, a little bit of background to it. From Overwatch we got Zenyatta and another one of the actual characters I played in the game. I, I didn't have a, a, a wide variety of characters that I played. There was really just a couple that really the playstyle and design were talking to me. So, Zenyatta being like kind of the Zen monk robot. It's pretty cool. So I'm happy to get a figure. Let's have a look. On a side note, I really like how this is packaged. Like, you know, if you want to keep him in the box, this is actually a pretty cool display with the hands floating over his head. Kudos to that. Out of the box, first impressions. It looks pretty good. So, size of your Zenyana. He's not standing straight, but this is like the most common pose, so I'm going with that. I'm gonna give you the size of the uh, straight pose later because he has some straight legs, but that's uh, we'll, we'll get to that. It's a little bit complicated. 12 and a half centimeters to the top of his head from his toes to his head, so that means over oh, a little over five inches. 5.1. Look in detail, starting off with the face sculpt. You have the blue spots in there, and the rest of it is all nice and shiny, silver and gold metallic, which really makes for a great look. The fun part about having a robot figure is that you don't really need to hide the articulation. You might already see some parts peeking out, but it's not really an issue. The only problem I see with the paint job is some of the red wire work that goes throughout the body. It's not even that bad, just the fact that the only paint at the top part and on the sides is not really any paint to speak of. A little detail that, however, you will not notice when he's just standing on the shelf. I said it once and I'll say it again, the strength of Overwatch is the character design and they've done a great job of capturing all of that. And speaking of the design, I just like the fact that it's not so overloaded. It looks nice, there is some mechanical detail, but they didn't just slam stuff on it, which makes for a good look. You got the hands, which are already nicely posed. Is it just me or are they a little bit more shiny than the rest of the body? Speaking of the shine, Nice contrast to it with the rest of the figure. You got kind of like the mustard colored pants. And you got the red cloth thingy hanging down with some black lines on it. It's soft plastic. The golden belt that goes all around it with a little bit of metal and the red belt under there, which is connected over here. The belt is not really soft plastic and I think it's connected somewhere here in the back so you cannot rotate that around. Has a nice Japanese symbol in the back and whatever the hell this is. Also, fairly sturdy plastic. It seems a little bit bendable. Giving you a look at his toes, shoes. Looks like he's wearing little sandals over there, over his robot's feet. With the hinges in there and the legs, just move forward like that. But yeah, there's more to the legs. For the articulation, I'm gonna start off with the hat. It is kind of limited. It goes forward and back quite nicely. It does not really go side to side a little bit and it does also not go all the way around because you have the entire neck piece which is connected over here. You have the double ball combination in there and this this one already moved away. So it's just like it's really stiff and the, the head is just blocking itself. I mean it does look pretty seamless so I don't mind the sacrifice too much. Also has neck articulation where this entire piece rotates. I do believe it is on a ball joint because it has a little bit of wheel motion, but because there's no room, it's basically just a hinge, which does do for some pretty nice posability overall. Doesn't really go back that much, but okay. For the shoulder, it's just on a big hinge, which is packed in, so we can rotate it around, but there's no wriggle room, there's no back forward motion at all, so that's a huge downgrade. Have a bicep swivel, once again it's just packed in and the ball hinge in the shoulder goes down over 45 degrees and another ball hinge in the hand Figma Classic up down rotation in it. Chest area has another double ball combination as one ball in the chest and one in the torso although the torso one is pretty stiff but it does work. It goes forward you have to really give it a tuck and a push and it goes to the back. does have a little bit of side side rotation and it does go all the way around. 
crotch area has some rotation but doesn't really go all the way around as I run into the tripod and you have the legs, feet disconnecting, legs go out to the side, legs go forward quite a lot and they go to the back but are blocked by this, aha, so it is a bit of an issue after all. Also has some rotation in there, it's very nicely covered up for his big pants, figure arts Take notes. I mean, honestly, just for all the Dragon Ball figure arts where the knee joints look so ugly. So this is the knee. As you can tell, it is completely molded to just cover up this entire thing. As such, the movement of it is limited. But we got some other leg joints, actually, which we'll have a look once we get to the accessories. But it's just the ball hinge in there. So as you can tell, it goes up and down. Fairly limited, but there's more as, like, the foot... Just disconnect it. Well, now I know that you can rotate the foot around and it is not on the ball hinge, so it goes forward, goes to the back, and it does tilt side to side also slightly. You should also be able to rotate the ball joint at the upper part. Yeah, has some more in there. Doesn't really accomplish anything because you can rotate over here, but still. And he has a toe hinge. Figma now doing toe hinges. This has, has become a lot more common for them. I hope you like accessories because he has a lot, actually a lot of hands to start it off. Open hands, holy hand, fist hand, and the one piece sign. But that's not enough hands for you, there's more. There's not an open hand and a pointy finger, like a completely open hand. And the two folded up fingers. This one's very nicely done. Also a cool idea. And you, have, you need those. Not a pointy finger and another open hand, you know, both sides, obviously. Then you have his beats, well, not really beats, the orbs that float around him, which are all connected on this see-through plastic. Very nicely detailed. I love the paint job on these. Can we get in a little bit closer? Yeah, there's a lot. There's, like, really even some dry brushing, maybe a little bit on it. No, I think it's just more the detail on the orbs itself that make it look really good. I really wish this is a nitpick part. Don't be like, oh, you're crazy. I wish they would have used a little bit less plastic on it. This, this, this circle is a little bit too thick for me, but I guess it makes it more stable. So I'm not hating it. Just for me personally, I would have preferred something a little bit smaller. Then you got his orbs. I do not remember the names right now, but I think the orange one is like the healing one. And then there's the, uh, the anti-heal, I don't, it's been forever that I played Overwatch, so. Then we got the regular auto shots. as the orb that just kind of gets launched. Looks pretty cool, just the only problem that you can tell where it's connected. That really breaks it up, that, that kind of ruins it for me. It's still looking good, nice see-through blue plastic. And here's the other legs, which are more straight, they're all covered up. I'm guessing they just can't bend, but as a result, they are more straight. So if you want them having standing straight, you have those. And then there's his alt. Experience tranquility. Transcendence. Is it trans transcendence? I think it's transcendence. You have the extra arms and the orbs that are floating around. And all of this stuff has some extra connecty parts for the base. Connecty parts? Wow, I'm three years old. And as usual, you got the Figma base and the Figma back. Where is it? There it is to round off your accessories. Okay, so correction. These are not the ops that he's throwing. These are the ops that are following around the players. Now I remember. And you actually have this part to just connect that on your... Uh, I think that goes on the base. Yeah, it has like a little arm. And you connect the arm to the base. And then you have that floaty part over here. Uh. Oh, and by the way, I also, if you're wondering how to connect these, there's a hole in there. And you just connect it to the other beads. Take one beat out and you put this one there. There you go. So here he is if you straighten the leg out. I gotta be honest, I think it's kind of weird. Still has a little bit of a gap and uh, obviously the motion of it. You know, I have a little bit, but I don't, I mean, I, I don't, I'm just gonna have him in the floaty pose. I want to say I don't see the point, but on the flip side, I don't want to sound too negative because it's still cool that they're doing that. If you want to put them in the standing pose, there you go. Then he goes up to almost 16 centimeters, gains a lot of height with that, which means 6.3 inches tall. And that's going to bring me to the final thoughts, and you might be thinking, what kind of basic boring pose is this? I like this pose. I mean, it's like the legs and the, the fingers is all 
pretty good. As you can tell, now we have the orbs around. They are super floaty. Like, in the game, they're kind of hanging a little bit over his neck, so... Eh, I like this one better. It looks better. And uh, for your, if you have a question how to actually access that, the alt, there is this piece with a little clamp on it. I'm not doing that because that's taking out too much space and I, I don't like to have it cluttered. I don't have to have, I don't like to have too much stuff on it. But final thoughts of this figure, this one is really good. This one is amazing. This one looks amazing. The paint job is awesome, except for the red lines, which is a very, very, very small nitpick. I do not even want to take points away for that. You could say the articulation is a little bit limited, and you would be right, but it's okay. You know, it's not it's not bad articulation. We have bad articulation, we have okay articulation, we have good and very good and amazing, and maybe trash, but whatever. It's somewhere in the middle, a little, little above average to me personally. It's, it's good figma articulation, and it's really seamless, it looks nice, and you have a lot of accessories. You don't have a different face, but you don't need a different face. So, once again, it's one of these things where I'm really thankful that they're making up for the fact that you don't have the faces, so you're getting all this other stuff. So that's gonna do it. I do recommend this one. A very, very strong entry in the Overwatch line. And even for non-Overwatch fans, it is a cool design. It is a very shiny figure. Comes with a lot of accessories, so I think you're gonna enjoy it. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Zenyatta wants.